Okay, guys, I'm not a video guy, but I think I might be looking at a 1980s piece of high tech medical equipment. <laughs> like, yeah, is, is this like an eye machine? Eye machine, <laughs> an optometry machine with a hazer attached to the front. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. This is actually a really industry standard style broadcast ENG type camera. Yep. So let's just talk through some of these components and uh, what they do. Yeah, so I think when you're looking at an ENG camera, really what it makes me think of is it's that it's just ready to go. Like it's, it's just everything's built into it. There's not a lot of extra GAC, not a lot of extra cabling come out of it. It's just a nice clean interface um, because it's, this, is like, this is like the technology that's been used for 50 years and it's tried and true and perfected in a lot of ways. Um, but you know, a lot of, all the same components, we've got a lens, body, and a, a monitor. Uh, but just kind of demonstrate some of this, like an ENG camera is built, um, it's, it's built really to work in just a few ways. And if you focus on just a few ways to work something, you can really like perfect how those things work. So, you know, you just take a monitor on and off and it's a built-in connection and a built-in mount. So this so is a, a multi-pin connection yeah. that yep. just connects to the camera body. And it's sending video, it's sending tally information, it's sending information about the lens. Control. So you can see that control. You control yeah. the camera from... Mm. It's literally <laughs> that easy. Yeah. Well, it was. <laughs> and it's literally that easy. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so then and the lens, you know, it's the lenses are kind of all the same, a few, a few different things, but this is actually a box lens. So a box lens is something you would see with an ENG camera. Um, and you'd see that a lot in studios, like in newsrooms, or even uh, sports environments have a lot of talk shows. Like this, talk shows, right. And um, usually but, in sports, you'll see these that are huge. They're massive, right? You have yeah. To yeah, be able to get size all this. of that distance. In, right in one shot and they, they weatherproof it and just a lot of different reasons why you would do this and the glass is literally huge but i mean this thing is heavy right can you imagine operating this like as a handheld right. no no not gonna happen you, you would change out the lens and you could still run it as like a shoulder rig style but that's those are kind of the ways you run a camera like this it's on a tripod it's on a pedestal it's on you can do jibs and steady cams um but or it's on your shoulder and that's kind of the way it's, it's designed to run yeah um as a volunteer if you're using this type of camera, there's a lot of like um, buttons, yeah, buttons and controls. There's a way, ways that you can mess things up and ways you can't mess it up. So um, you just kind of have to connect with whoever's running technical point to make sure like what's happening, yep. you know, on the back side of that thing. Do I need to touch any of these buttons or not? But it's got, you know, audio in and out. It's yep. got calm. Uh, you've got different, you can send, you know, video obviously goes out through the fiber connector. Um, but the fiber can hold also, you know, return video to the camera. So you can send a different signal to the operators so they can see program or they can, you know, whatever wow. you want them to see. They can see yeah. multi-view yeah. um, by, by the click of a button. So yeah. tons of options. Yeah. And the um, control room can turn the camera on and off. Like, you know, all yeah. that kind of stuff. And all that information goes down that one That's right. fiber cable that connects to all of the guts of those controls, yeah. which is yeah. in the monitor. And that, that's a good thing to point out. It's like a lot of times with an ENG camera chain, you might hear that that ner that term. Yeah. And what that means is that you have the different components to it. There's the actual camera head. There's the cable. That cable actually goes a lot of times to an engineering room where there's a, you know, like a 1RU or 2RU frame. And that's where a lot of the image processing is actually taking place. And yeah. um, you would that's where you'd interface your audio and your tally and uh, like your networking stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 